morning. It is the day before, the day before Christmas. Christmas Adam, as we like to call it. Uh, I just came down to the basement to grab my laundry and also these cellophane bags. I knew I had bought them, I think, maybe two years ago. I knew I had some left over and I wanna use them actually for our, um, the sibling gifts I'm gonna put in the stockings. I came up with a different idea. So I knew I had them. I just had to go hunt them down in our bins. But I'm gonna bring up this laundry and fold it. Dan is home. He actually is going to be home now until Christmas, which is wonderful. He was able to use up uh, some vacation days that he had left over. So he had to use them up or else he would have lost them. So he was able to take these days off, um, which is really, really nice. We're going to be FaceTiming with his family Later today, we sent the gifts and they did get there on time and we wanna, they wanna open them, you know, so that we can watch and kind of be part of it. So I think we'll do that later today. I don't quite know what time. His sister-in-law is in Disney right now or she's on her way back from Disney. So they're waiting for her to get back and then we will do gifts. But we need to just run out to probably just Walmart is kind of like the one-stop shop. We need a couple grocery items, a couple, just like random things. I mean, I guess we could probably go to any grocery store, but we'll see. Um, we're gonna be, you know, making a couple special things for Christmas. I need to get the rolls, like the frozen bread rolls that I use to make my Christmas, like cinnamon pull apart bread, which I have a video about, I'll link to it. We've been making it for three years now. It's absolutely delicious. So I need to get those, make sure I have them on hand and just kind of wrap up the final things. We're totally done present shopping, I'm pretty sure. At this point, it's kind of like, it is what it is. So I will share this vlog, you'll see it tomorrow probably, and then I'll probably combine thank Thanksgiving, um, Christmas Eve and Christmas Day and share them kind of together. All right, we are back. I was able to get the rolls. I really didn't need 72, but this was the only amount that they had. I think I used like 12 or maybe 15 or so for the Christmas breakfast. And then I got a couple things to make a salad, which I think I've shared, yeah, I shared it this past summer. It's like artichokes and olives, red peppers, um, fresh mozzarella, basil, and then it's also thin sliced um, orange, like a whole orange and you slice it, and then whole tomatoes and you slice them, or you could do cherry tomatoes. And it's so good and you put like a balsamic drizzle on it. The baking powder is just for baking. We've been doing a lot of baking and pancakes and stuff like that. So we just ran out and needed more. And then we also got a rack of ribs and some extra barbecue sauce to do um, Christmas Eve dinner. We also got more orange juice because we ran out of the other one that I bought and I needed it for my Christmas punch. So we need to get more. And then we just got like garbage bags and toilet paper. So I'm gonna put all this away, clear off the table. It's only about 4.30 and we just kind of spent the day or the morning at home and then ran some errands and now we're back. Um, don't really have many <laughs> plans for the afternoon. We'll probably do dinner and maybe a Christmas movie since we only have a couple more days left and I feel like there's a lot that we haven't yet watched. So uh, Dan and I actually tried to watch the Santa Claus 2 the other night and we only made it through maybe like 30 or 40 minutes and we fell asleep. So um, I know what, to do. what do you know to do? 10 Dogs of Christmas. Oh, the 12 oh, Dogs of Christmas. They did want to watch that. Oh, that's an option. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and make the rosemary shortbread now that I've been wanting to make. I have my butter already softened. You need three sticks for this recipe. And then since I'm using dried rosemary, you use less of it than the fresh. So it said to use a third. Since there's three teaspoons and a tablespoon, and this calls for two tablespoons, I'll use two teaspoons of the dried. And then it's just salt, flour, and sugar. That's it, it's just these five ingredients. And then it has to chill for an hour. So I'm gonna do it now. And then I'll either, I'm either gonna do it like a roll and slice them or actually cut them out with cookie cutters. I haven't yet decided. So I was up until, I don't know, 1.30 last night. I was wrapping 
all of the presents that I had left to wrap. This is my like garbage bag that I always keep with me for any like scraps or um, you know, like price tags or anything that, you know, you make all sorts of little schnitzels as my mom would say. But one more thing just came for, I think this is for Lara, um, from her grandparents. So I gotta wrap that up from them. And then everything else is in here. It's quite the tower of presents there. And this is full. This is the um, cage that Evie got for Lara. She needs to wrap it. We found some animals to put inside, but got stocking stuffers and main gifts and most everything is wrapped so that feels really good I only have maybe like two or three things that are down in the basement that I need to still wrap um, but there's not really a rush on it and then I want to put some ribbon I wrapped my secret Santa gift but I want to like make it a little bit cuter and put some ribbon around it and I think we're pretty good. I mean, we should be. It's the day before, the day before Christmas. But Dan is making dinner right now, which is wonderful. And um, my dough is chilling. So after dinner, I'll probably work on getting those into the oven. So Dan made really delicious like chicken tenders that he breaded and fried with some potatoes. And then we have also over there, we made some homemade like Chick-fil-A sauce, which is mayo, mustard, honey, a little barbecue sauce, um, a little lemon juice. It's not exactly the same, but it's pretty close. You want to have some? Yeah. Okay. Is it, is it good? Tastes the same. Is right that? Does it taste the same? Yep. Okay. <laughs> So it's like 10.30 at night. <laughs> we have been going to bed so late this week, so it doesn't even feel like it's that late. Um, so I'm going to finally bake the shortbread. We wound up having dinner, we had movie night, we talked with my in-laws for a while, they opened their presents so that we could you know, see them and they loved all of the gifts, so that was wonderful. And then a friend stopped by and he and Dan exchanged gifts, just briefly, and then here we are. I'm about to bake some shortbread cookies. I could have put it off till tomorrow, but I just want tomorrow to have its own schedule and not have to worry about these. So, um, I mean, I already have the dough. It's chilled. It's already, you know, pretty much ready to go. I'm going to, I think, just roll it into kind of like a log and then slice it. That'll really just be the faster option than, you know, pressing them out with um, cookie cutters. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. I just need to put some flour down and then put the parchment on my baking sheets and pop them in the oven. And they only take like, I don't know, 10, 12 minutes or so. So it's an hour later. I've actually been done for a little while. Dan and I have just been chatting, um, but I got three dozen and then four extra out of that recipe. I'll link it down below. It's just from all recipes. It's really very simple. Just those five ingredients and then they sliced beautifully and they look great. They taste good. I was actually considering like taking maybe half of them and like dipping half of it in chocolate but they're already so rich and buttery. I feel like maybe that's kind of overkill. We'll see, I'm glad I got those done. And then while they were baking, I just went ahead and like 
tidy the kitchen and clean the counters. I just need to put this parchment away and then put those things away. But everything else is pretty tidy and ready for tomorrow. So I'm gonna go ahead and end the vlog here and the next time I see you, it'll be after Christmas. So Merry Christmas. I hope you all have a wonderful Christmas season, Christmas day, and I will be back in just a day or two to share with you our Christmas festivities. So I'll be talking to you guys soon. Take care, bye.